Hello, fellow barn finders. Howdy. Uh, Luke, this is uh, the crash site. Well, are we crashing? Uh, we we aren't, but aliens are. And then we're going to <laughs> steal all their stuff? I guess you are stealing all their stuff, right? Also, not a barn. There's no barns in this level. Yeah, you know, for uh, a whole game called Barn Finders, I didn't do a whole lot of barns. Yeah, yeah. There's like a studio. There's a crash site. We go to the moon. <laughs> not a lot of barns. Okay, so uh, this is when you start the level, you'll see a big crash site. There's not a lot to do out here, uh, so just turn around, go back towards your truck, and into the outhouse, and activate this toilet paper that will beam you up. Um, and so the goal of this is there's essentially three levels to this UFO, uh, and we need to flip all the appropriate switches to get into the basement. Mm -hmm. uh, but first, we're going to grab some, uh, some stuff. There's a first aid kit being protected by a force field over here. Um, and every force field is connected to a switch. You just gotta, kind of gotta figure out which switch. Yeah, some of them are a little hidden. And some of them are behind earth locks, yeah. too. <laughs> Seems like a weird amalgamation of technology here. Is this where we got our alien origin I, locks from? I think so. Um, but uh, also, I think you do need the fully upgraded lock pick for this level. I think that was like the highest uh, it goes, level three. Uh, but it's pretty cheap, pretty affordable, so... Uh, and you shouldn't be spending your Welcome money on uh, other stuff. Later, and partner. if you need to upgrade it, there's a bunch of kiosks right here. Boom. So that's kind of it for the ground floor. Uh, we're going to make our way up to the first floor. Uh, you can see the golden toilet paper. We will talk about how to get that in a little bit. Uh, but first, we're going to make our way over to these force fields. And this is really hard to see. Yeah, this is a hidden one. It's like a hologram of something. Uh, make sure you pick it up. There's a couple on this level, too, and later in the game as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but in that last little wall cubby, there's a hologram of a, I think it's a statue bust. Um, this bathroom, there's a vacuum. Um, in the last stall, there's a little secret vent, and it will take you to a comic book page. Uh, make sure you pick that up for, uh, well, you won't get an achievement yet, but if you find them all, you will. Yep, and we're going to be picking up a few collectibles in this level that are kind of hard to get. Yeah, uh, I would say, as far as, like, difficulty goes, like, this and the moon are pretty difficult. Mm -hmm. And this one even has a few levels that tripped me up where there's some breakable objects that have actual collectibles yeah, on it. yeah bunch of just random crap this one right here too yeah the handle. Right, so in the back on, on the desk in the back of the first floor uh the there is a safe handle on the desk underneath a newspaper make sure you grab that that's, yep. a, that's an important one um also if you see a f uh, switch you should flip it um just just once though yep. don't don't flip it switch twice but uh we do want them all in the off position and they are all in the on position by default like this one for instance Coming to this dancing alien uh, room. But he's, yeah. he's a shy guy. He yeah. Wanna, yeah. He's, uh, he's a little embarrassed. But <laughs> I thought he had good moves. Um, there is a iPad in uh, the second locker. And uh, and there's a bottle of moonshine right uh, right next to joy. it. Oh, yeah, joy. I, uh, I edited it out. It's not meant for, for earthly eyes. But, oh. uh, maybe if you collect it and drink it, you can uh, find out. Uh, here's the death ray body. Um, not for an achievement. Death ray is not an achievement, is it? I don't think so. I don't but think so. It does sell for a good bit once you but, sell it. Yeah, it sells for $666. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. Ooh. Um, and then also an important thing uh, to know. Oh, there's the a frog statue in here. Zippo and Ming. <laughs> um, also, this switch right here, very important. Make sure you flip it. It deactivates a force field on the ceiling, and it drops a bunch of stuff that you can now pick up, like this H2O booster, um, this saw, and also, very important, a red key card that we will need to unlock a important door later on. Mm -hmm. Make sure you snag that off the table. Right yep, here. it usually falls on the second table, I think. I think it is up in that uh, oh, force gotcha. field thing. So. FYI. So you leave this room, go up the ladder, and uh, there's just a uh, there's another saw, and I think a floor skin on the on either end of this uh, this walkway. So. These aliens sure like their uh, uh, hardware, don't they? They Saws do. Yeah. What is going you on? You would here? think they would be on like laser technology, but yeah. no, they're still <laughs> on. Uh, I would get assume primitive <laughs> cutting technology. Um, you can walk across this floor. Um, there's a switch that disables that, but you can still stack stuff to get up on this side in case that force field is deactivated. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's also a Nitro Hercules over here. Oh. Which I'm assuming it's just another H2O cam. Right. Um, so when you're ready, you can plug in the red key card. These are hard. To I, you can see yeah. some struggle right there. <laughs> uh, so that is one of the basement switches that we need to throw, um, I think. 
Um, but like I said, I think there's three of them that you need to throw and they get you into uh, to, to where the job item is, essentially. Mm -hmm. This is the golden toilet paper. We are going to look at it in all its glory for a second, but we're not going to get it. No. We're, we're not ready. We're not ready for that yet. Uh, instead, we're going to jump back down, but you want to hit these wires, and you can actually walk across them, and there is a poster down here. Mm -hmm. yep. um, are posters, are there an achievement for posters? That's a good question. I, I feel like it's so. one of those where I'm almost sure, so I, you know, yeah. collected while you're I at I think it. what happens is sometimes posters count as comic book pages. Oh. I think some of them are. Yeah. So maybe just get all the posters anyway. Stop being a baby. Uh, but now we're going to go up to this floor. Uh, we're going to go to the break room. Lots of stuff in here. A lot of garbage. Uh, but the the bring waves. <laughs> what? Hell? And a Kawa stand, which is very important because that is a repairable item. Ah, uh, yep. Uh, we need all those. Okay, so that's actually it. I lied about there being a lot of items in there. Uh, we can leave. And uh, we took a left, but may maybe, uh, yeah, take a left. Why not? We're scared. Not? We see a lot yeah. of electricity. Uh, and then you can climb up here, and uh, there are going to be more wires to walk across. Um, but this is just going to deactivate some, some electricity down below us so mm -hmm. we can get to where we need to go. Um, like right here. Uh, another cubby hole. This just is another oxygen tank. Uh, cubby holes. There's. If you see a cubby hole, you should check it twice. Yeah, check all of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe that's another basement switch. Here is a broken TV. Very important. The smart boozer. Make, make sure you got enough string to repair that TV. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I want to say that's it for this floor. I could be wrong. Yeah, we're getting close. I remember yeah. there being a few that I almost missed. I think this bathroom doesn't have anything in it. This bathroom is empty. You don't need to go into the top floor bathroom, just FYI. Uh, but now we're going to go back down to the first floor. I think we're going to snag that golden toilet paper now. Yeah, we finally see our uh, laser force field has been deactivated. Yeah, yeah, I think the top floor switch throws the force field around it, and that switch lets you walk on the ground around it. And you can pick up the golden toilet paper. And uh, we're getting kind of close to all the all the golden toilet papers. Yeah, getting close to that that final big poop, which yeah. I like when you go into your uh, your break room, you see all your golden toilet <laughs> yeah, papers like assembled on the wall for you. Yeah. So now we've unlocked the basement. We can go into the the depths, the bowels of this uh, spaceship, and uh, you're gonna see this. Uh, well, you'll see this chair. Pick that up. Mm -hmm. and you're gonna see this alien kind of like being tortured. I guess I don't really know what his story is. But there's just uh, one more item to pick up over here. A big propane tank. Propane accessories. <laughs> Thank you, Hank. And uh, <laughs> there's like, this is like a puzzle, I guess. But all you have to do is flip the, f uh, what is it, fourth, first, and third switch in that order, I believe. And, uh, and there you go. You're done. Uh, kind of a long cutscene we'll play. I'm going to edit it out. But um, after you come back from the cutscene, you can pick up the job item, which is that helmet that is now in that chair. And there is a wall skin. I think there's also a holographic iPad down here. So yeah. kind of a lot. But um, you know, that's why that's why we're here, baby. No, Showing you all of them. Just a regular iPad. Yeah. But don't forget, too, you might be thinking, wait, there's still some items left. Uh, there are, but don't worry. Because we know where they are. But, but I'm worried. No, 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 no. Luke, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Luke shot all this footage. But <laughs> <laughs> he knows exactly what's going on. But I like to pretend that I'm scared. <laughs> also, something I kind of want to point out, not totally related to this, but a lot of the diggable items don't actually count towards the items left. Wow. So, like, but some, some do. So, oh. like, for instance, the on uh, Knuckles Barn, uh, that Viking shield you dig up, mm -hmm. that's like repairable, that counts towards the uh, total progression. So like, if it's a dirty item or a broken item, it does count. But if it's a normal item, it doesn't. Weird. So, kind of weird. And also like super hard to like suss out which one counts or not. You kind of just need to know. Uh, but there are no, there are diggable items on this map, but they don't count towards the uh, total. Oh huh. yeah. There you go. That's it. Um, that's uh, that's crash site. It was good crashing with you. It was good sighting with you. Bye, barn finders.